Hey guys, this is Damien with Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. As the title states in this video, I'll be officially testing and seeing if Geekbench 6 is a scam or real. As of right now, within the tech community, Geekbench 6 has been labeled by many as Apple Bench 6 as the belief is Apple paid the devs to falsely boost performance results. For reference, in Geekbench 5, the latest Android flagship devices housing the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 showed to have very close results when compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. However, as you can see, with Geekbench 6, we are seeing the iPhone 14 Pro Max show a huge 20% gap in specifically CPU performance. In Primate Lab's defense, they report that Geekbench 6 is more accurate due to CPU testing methods, stressing the device more along with additional testing measurements, which in return reveals more accurate data and results. Nevertheless, I decided that instead of just assuming and never knowing, I test myself with a legit method. And as you can see for this test, I'm using a game called Bloons TD6. Now, why you may ask, this game primarily relies on CPU performance, and in my opinion, the best way to specifically stress only the CPU. For those wanting to replicate this test for yourself, I'm using 42 animations in total for each device, 40 mortar monkeys, and two airplanes. I also increased the enemy count by 999. I made sure to place everything roughly in the same location to make this test fair. I encourage you to check for yourself if you doubt these test results. Last but not least, for the CPU test, I will test three rounds and see which device finishes each round first. So right off the bat, it's quite apparent that the iPhone is running at a better frame rate and showing much better gameplay. So far, the iPhone is showing impressive CPU performance. However, to my surprise, the S23 Ultra is actually coming in second over the Red Magic 8 Pro. But before jumping to conclusions, let's see how each phone performs as the round progresses and throttling kicks in for the iPhone. So the iPhone has just finished its first round at an impressive 48 seconds. Both the S23 Ultra and Red Magic 8 Pro are still chugging along with extremely throttled performance. As far as my knowledge, the S23 Ultra is still ahead of the Red Magic 8 Pro. So as we skip ahead, the iPhone is finishing its second round at 1 minute and 36 seconds. Again, I'm absolutely blown away right now. Again, this test is solely testing just the CPU performance and not really the GPU. Now, if we move on to the S23 Ultra, we can finally see that it's finishing its first round at still an impressive 1 minute and 55 seconds. Definitely if we compare these results to the Red Magic 8 Pro. Now as we approach the end of the last round for the iPhone, we can finally see that it's finishing round 3 at 2 minutes and 23 seconds, while the Red Magic 8 Pro is also finishing its first round also at 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Nevertheless, I'll just go ahead and fast forward so we can see the overall results. In conclusion, when looking at the completed time for each round, it is clear that the iPhone is massively ahead in CPU performance despite what Geekbench 5 has shown us. On another note, the S23 Ultra has really surprised me and totally outclassed the Red Magic 8 Pro in CPU performance. I honestly did not expect these results. However, again, if this test were more GPU focused, then I strongly believe the results would be quite the opposite. All in all, at the end of the day, after conducting this extensive CPU test, my conclusion is Geekbench 6 is very legit. The iPhone is showing a massive gap in CPU performance, even more than Geekbench 6. Anyways, now that this test is done, if you know of anyone doubting Geekbench 6, just show them this video. Hopefully this test clears any confusion or false assumptions. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you all next time.